Hello everyone, my name is Jumat and today we're going to do a Talia jungle guide featuring the spooky ghosts item to in shadows which is right here so for this today's video I will also do tomorrow another guide on another champion but first let's do some Talia today for this today jungle video on Talia we are going for the AP jungle item for Sork Shoes and then straight towards Twin Shadows and we're going to try to use to use it right to hit some combos, to hit some WQ combos. I really hope this is not a remake. But I'm going to talk regardless, so okay, he's up. I'm going to play this game with Dark Harvest, Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Nimbus Cloak, Transcendence and this rule stat time against the Jarvan with Predator. I have I have a Blitzcrank that's going to pull away my both. Okay, he failed. <laughs> he failed. <laughs> okay, we're safe now, and he's still coming. I'm not sure what Blitz does. Just wasting time at this point. I'm out. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm playing with those runes. I am playing obviously with Smite. I've told you the build. I'm going to use. I'm not going to use E here because I want to take red. Actually, I'm going to take these. Don't do that. Don't be undecisive when jungling. Also, the team comp is good because every single lane that I've got has some form of a has some form of CC. So we got Volibear on top, Twisted Fate on mid. And on bot lane we've got Trash and Varus, so we've got lots and lots of setup for me, for uh, actually getting the WQ combo hit. Now I'm gonna smite this guy, then I'm going to move straight to golems. And this guy is quite hard to kite, but it's doable, okay? So I want you to kite it like I am kiting, I want you to... Whenever you hit him, I want you to go back, far away, use your E, probably smite if you feel like it. And this guy actually died, so that's cool. Then I'm going for this small, uh, small uh, gro golem right here, so that I make level up from him, right? Because we want that W. And now that we have the W, we can W combo, right? And then we can orient ourselves towards the top lane. Mid lane is hinting already. He flashed now. You mean he died without flashing the first time? Yeah, I should have been probably there for counter ganks, but we're not really going to bother much with that. Because early we are quite bad, so I'm going towards this cuttle, because Jarvan did not take it, most probably, because he ganked mid, and yep, right here. And because he is back now, I think I have it for free, I don't think he has time to reach it. And so we're gonna take it, then we're going to look towards counter ganking options. Cause Jarvan is going to want to gank now. And I want to actually fight. Can you pull him up? No, he's worth it, okay. I'm still going towards mid, cause if Jarvan is there... Let me just reveal my location real quick. Alright, I'm gonna go here and put a deep ward. I'm seeing Ahri, she has no mana, so we're kind of safe. Okay, I'm seeing wolves. We can we can actually take this, mostly because Ahri has no mana and we have flash up. We're allowed to do this kind of stuff. I'm gonna smite it so that we don't waste too much time. Going back to my raids, by the way, and bot lane is winning, that's great. And I think Jarvan is there. Jarvan is playing with Predator, by the way. Yep, I predicted right the Jarvan, he took his golems. And we want to take now this side. We want to smite it, we want to move to walls, and we want to finally recall after it. I've done a pretty good clear this game. And, okay. Now we see Jarvan being at the, at the uh, scuttle here, we've seen him on our world. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna ping him to help me, dude. Come. Okay. So we just that was baitable, right? 
We've seen him there, we knew his path was going to be Scuttle, we knew his going was going there. The only problem is now that at level 6, uh, Twisted Fate might die to Ahri. Uh, okay, there is a mid gang from Blitzcrank, I cannot do much to that. I suppose Twisted Fate is just going to die there. That is fine, it's okay. We can recall now. Is he still alive? Okay, here, here, here. That's your only way. There you go, my boy. There you go. Now we're going to this side because the blue buff is spawning. Now Blitzcrank wasted so much time there, which means uh, I actually have a sort of gang potential on bot now. Now, my Thresh has a hook, my Varus has an ultimate. Both of these guys are very strong and we can abuse that. I don't like how aggressive they play though, I might need to go there faster. Yeah. I'm moving towards that. I missed that W, that uh, full combo because I really expect- oh my god. Oh my god, that trash. I really expected Caitlyn to use something to flash or them. I should have checked for their abilities. But still, we actually done very well. We killed them both. Jarvan failed. I failed. But we still I am 3-0 now. We're still going strong. We can move towards the top side for the red buff. And we can actually get uh, soon... Oh, already. Yep, already I was looking for that item. We can get the AP jungle item and we should. Every time you got it, you should go straight for it. And we go now. And we have easy clears on the top side. I don't think I'm gonna get Scuttle. Because Jarvan will be there first. Or he should be there first. Unless he clears other lanes. And we're gonna get two Vision Wars. Because we really like this advantage. I'm seeing Blitz here. Okay. Now Blitz failed the hook. She should be dead. Right? Yep. Yep, yep. Our Tissetfe has much more health than... <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm seeing German. That means Scuttle is up. That means the Scuttle is up on that side. So we can just go to the Scuttle, right? And we're gonna do this. We're gonna get this. And we're gonna move towards here. We're gonna put a division word because we wanna see the Jarvan. And then we're gonna jump straight on that Ahri. Or on this guy. I wanted to wait for that flash, but Jesus, I failed that. Yeah, let's let's push this. Let's push this. Let's push this, and it's fine. We can move towards our red buff. No, don't. Nah, too early. Don't. Too early. I want to clear a little bit more. I want to do some more successful ganks. It's... Uh, I do have the blue buff, I do have the possibility of doing that, but I believe I would have lost... Look, for example, they are doing Drake here, so we can just move towards this side. Right? We can move towards this side. And we can flash that out. We can kill Caitlyn. And we also got Blitz. So that was a good... That was a good uh, roam right there. Uh, good gang also I'm going I'm coming there it's fine we got it but Jarvan if Jarvan he comes here I don't have smite so that would have been that would have been my uh, mistake because I used the smite on mid lane but still look why we don't do Herald because they started the they started Drake for some reason and we should have been there so we went there we got so many kills and we got the advantage now I'm not going to go boots because I'm afraid that this game might end too fast for me to showcase Twin Shadows. And so, we're going to get Twin Shadows immediately after. <laughs> right now, actually, whenever I have gold. And I'm doing clears right now to actually get there faster. Also, you can see I'm already having 5 Dark Harvest stacks, which is not a lot. So, in this context of the game, it might have been better to play with a with Electrocute. 
So that's that's another thing. I don't know why I use this, because I know there is no. I know there is no Atrox around. Should have just kept it. By the way, you can see in the vision control. I tried to put vision words down. Even if you don't know where to put it, you should generally try to buy them and find the bush, find some place that actually you can actually make good use of it. Now, with going four parts of this item. We're already having this and that. We need 900 more gold somewhere there. So we can go on the map and try to get that 900 gold. This might be a 5-15 minute win, but Atrox is scaling pretty nicely, so they might get a good team fight out of it. But their bot lane, there is a bot lane difference this game. Right. So we move towards the scuttle here. We get it instantly. Okay, then we move towards the mid lane, we reposition our vision ward, we've, we've seen them noticing it. And we actually can try going bot here with a wider path. And we notice if we've been spotted, because they back off instantly, right? So they just did, we notice when we've been spotted. And I want to clear this here. Okay, if there's no word here, I really thought, really thought there is a word here. You don't need to dive though, you don't want to do dives. So we're just gonna wait here, I think I've been spotted by a word somewhere. But we can just, we can just throw the ult and dive here. We can, I mean, we don't see Avery, okay? We, okay, okay, now go, 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 go. It was a pretty bad <laughs> ultimate from Paris. I'll give you that, okay. Never mind. Trish is a god. Yeah, I did not expect the godly trash hook though, so that's what wins us. <laughs> Generally, you can see this kind of hooks, this kind of stuff, and we'll get let's get this. Stop pinging like a maniac. Get this. It's fine. Yeah, I took your CS. So what? I'm carrying this. Also, on top lane, Twisted Fate did pretty fine. We got the kill there, the roam, and we got also tower here, which means we have enough gold for Twin Shadows. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get this. Okay. And now we go for now we go for the blue buff for this zone. And back off. Cause we want to stack all the gold that we can before going back. Maybe well nah, I don't think we get eight hundred gold. Seeing the Jarvan. Dopped. He invades me here, even though he might know I'm here. Right, so we, we farm as much as we can. We are actually first at farming our team. And I, we're going to be first at farming the entire game in a second or two. Because we're taking the whole full clear now. Also, we're gonna get this. Okay. I'm going back only after I have enough gold for boots as well. So that is that, and then we're getting tons and tons of gold. There is a level 6 Blitzcrank, which might come around. I'm seeing him on top lane. He's healing up, it's fine. Alright. We got that going as well on bot lane. Well, virus stayed alone there, so he died. We can actually move towards this, and we can get twin shadows. We can get this item. We can rush two vision words by the way. We can rush immediately towards this. We can rush towards this because they are doing exactly that. We're going to have a twisted fate ultimate up soon, and we have twisted fate and trash here, so it's fine. I'm using I'm using twin shadows, right? But I think I think Jarvan just died. Okay, we've hit twin shadows there. I'm taking this. Nah, I don't I don't mind the Ahri trying to intervene. I actually got her pretty nicely there. I think Twisted Fate killed Caitlyn, which is great. And we can actually go mid now. We've used twin shadows, but it wasn't the best use. It was more likely just 
ensure that they are not destroying us. Jesus, my frames dropped, man. Okay. Low frames, but we still managed to dodge that somehow. It's the map changes that drops my frames. The fact that the, the jungle just suddenly becomes green and and this dropped my frames a bit and I need to alt tab to, to actually do something. Come on, fix it. Okay, good. I'm actually going here. Okay, let's get the tower. That's fine. So the score is ah, this render. Oh my god, can't even showcase this item. Well, that's unlucky. I suppose, guys, this is the game. I really hope you enjoyed this Talia gameplay. I didn't much have time to actually showcase that item, uh, but I think I will. Uh, I will do something about it. Thank you, guys, and see you next time. Goodbye.